Hey, badass business owners, how much do you think you're earning an hour? Is it $40, $25, $15? The truth might just shock you. Before we jump in, I need to give you a disclaimer. I am not a fan of you working for an hourly wage. I don't want you to have that hourly mentality when you are thinking about being paid in your business. However, you do need to know your value in the business. You get paid two ways in your business. The first way is as an employee doing work in the business. And for this, yes, you are going to get a fair wage. However, you are going to make sure that this is only for the time you're working in the business, that you're the doer. And the reason you're doing this is because it needs to be part of your cost of goods, which is explained in other videos that I do. Now, you're also going to get paid as the business owner, and the business owner is only paid off of the success of the business because the business owner gets paid from the profits of the business. Here's where the problem is. If there is no profit, the owner you will not get paid, and the owner you must steal from your employees, which is also you, in order to float the business. So that hourly wage that you thought you were making, you are definitely not making. Now let's take a look at an exercise because I think this is really going to drive home the point that I'm trying to make. The first thing we want to do is we want to think about how many hours do you work in a typical week? Is it 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, whatever that number is. For most people, it's going to be about 60 hours if they're honest with themselves. This is for both the employee time and the business owner time because you want to make sure that you add the two of them together. And in a typical month, we're going to have four weeks. So we're going to take 60 hours times four weeks, which is about 240 hours. And then the next thing we're going to do is move to step two. And in step two, you want to ask yourself, how much money do you take out of the business? Now, when I'm talking about taking money out of the business, I mean all of the money that you take out, both as an employee and as a business owner. So in our example, we're going to assume that you take out $1,000 a week out of the business for a total of $4,000. And like I said, this includes all the money that you took out of the business, regardless of which way it was. And this is money for you personally. The exercise we're going to do is we're going to take the money that you earn, the money you took, divide it by the number of hours to come up with what your wage is. So let's take the $4,000 divided by the 240 hours, and it turns out that you're making $16.67. And if you're like most people, you thought you were making 20 bucks an hour, 25 bucks an hour. The reality is you're only making $16.67 if you happen to be making about $1,000 a week out of your business because when you factor in all of the hours that you're working, you're really not getting paid as both the employee and the business owner because the business owner, you, once again, was taking money from you. Now, for some of you, you work even longer hours and I can hear you now going, well, I work way more hours. Okay, all right, let's just say you are working long hours and let's say you're doing 12 hour days, six days a week. What does that look like? Well, we have our 12 hours times six days, which is 72 hours. Now, 72 hours times four weeks means you're working 288 hours. Well, if we take our $4,000, because the money we made didn't change, we're just working more and longer days. And now all of a sudden we're making $13.89. What a drop in pay. And this is the problem when we chase sales, but we're not making sure we've got the profits to go along with that. If you think about it, the employee you is giving up money to support the business you who is making poor decisions. Because once again, you're working way more hours, you're making way less money. And that's what gets people in trouble is they're only thinking like an employee, but they forget that that business is still running around them and money's going to have to come from somewhere. And when there's money that runs out from the profits of the business, then it starts to dip into whatever it is you were paying yourself. Now, I want you to just think about what if you could get your profits up without necessarily working more hours? What does that look like? Well, let's take a look. Let's assume that your profits go from $4,000 a month to $5,000 a month. Well, you're still working the same 60 hours, so we're still got 240 hours. However, now we're going to take the 5,000 divided by the 240, and we're looking at $20.83 an hour. Oh my gosh, look at that. From 1667 to 2083, that's a 25% 
increase, much closer to the goal that you put for yourself to make 20 bucks an hour. Now, if you're still working those long, crazy days, yes, you, even you are going to benefit from this because we got our profits up to the 5,000 divided by the 288 because you're working six days a week, 12 hour days. Now you're up to 1736. So you go from 1389 to 1736, which is $3.47 more an hour that's a heck of a raise than what you were doing before. As you can tell, the amount of money, how much your value is per hour goes up the more profitable you make the business because the business owner you is not stealing from you, the employee. And like I said earlier, most of you think you're already making 20, 25 bucks an hour, but the reality is you're not. The boss you keeps taking your money. Yes, I'm sounding like a broken record on purpose. It's really important that you get this into your head that if you're gonna be an employee, and get employee wages, then you need to go work for someone else because your boss is not running the business right. But the goal is to how do we help you make your business more profitable? Because at the end of the day, it's about the profits you make, not about the sales you make. So it's really important that you focus on this. It is the only way that you are gonna get paid as the business owner. So one of the key takeaways is make sure that the employee you is paid a fair wage in your cost of goods and the business owner needs to make sure that the business is profitable so they get paid as well. And if you want to continue to learn more about your business and learn more about your business numbers and how to pay you better, make sure you subscribe and follow the channel and check out these other videos right here.